The Helldivers 2 Exo Patriot mechs are the most overpowered thing that's in the game. Look at this. There's a charger. I've just fired two rockets into it and it's dead. The, these mechs are incredible. Also as well, you can just walk over the small bugs like, like they don't exist, which is excellent. Absolutely excellent. And I am a massive, massive fan of just walking over the little bugs. So what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the mechs. Now, this is my first game. You might see I've got two of the Patriot Exosuit stratagem there if you were quick and caught it um that's basically because i've bought the stratagem myself but everybody gets access to this it's like one of those stratagems like joel has basically given us but we have liberated tian kwan so you know we do get access to the mechs but everybody gets it um, now i believe you have to be level 25 and above to unlock it permanently but if you play hell divers now you will get access uh, to the mechs so let's just talk about how ridiculously powerful these are so i have not been de-mecked right my mech hasn't been destroyed at all what forces you to get out of the mechs is you run out of ammunition so you cannot reload the mechs but as you can see the amount of damage they do is completely ridiculous look at that charger well I'll just fire two rockets into him and he's absolutely dead <laughs> I was shooting his corpse. I don't know why. Now, the uh, minigun auto... Well, it's not an auto cannon. I guess the chain gun uh, that is on this mech. It doesn't pierce armor like the charge. You know, you can't just burn the charge down with it. But the rocket is armor piercing and just goes straight through heavy armor. It's just ridiculously powerful. Like, look at the state of us. We're like, yeah, now the mechs do look a bit goofy. <laughs> they do look goofy. But it makes them fun, I think. They look like Ed 209 meets uh, a Warhammer 40k Dreadnought in an odd way. <laughs> But I think they really fit the style of the game. But yeah, they're super powerful. So I kind of, you know, I sort of guessed at this. I thought, you know what? Maybe charges won't be that much of an issue if we've got mechs that can blow the charges up super easy. And uh, yeah. Also, you might have just caught the animation there with that mech getting dropped in for that player. Or you probably caught it at the top of the video. It's really cool. The dropship comes in <laughs> to drop it off. And, but also the dropship's got like an auto cannon on the front of it. So it starts firing at enemies. So you can almost use it as a bit of like crowd control when you're trying to like summon in your mech. It's so cool. Anyway, the worst thing about them is they're really slow. Like They're not fast and they're kind of goofy when they're walking around and yeah. But this obviously is offset by the fact they've got a ton of firepower and firepower in this game is absolutely king. So let's go and have a look at the firepower when I'm not firing rockets into a rock because I'm an idiot. So we've got a, a bit of a bug nest here. Now, obviously, you can just fire the rockets straight into the holes and just destroy them. Now, this isn't optimal. Look, there's a, a bug breach spawning on top of me. It doesn't matter because, I mean, there's literally three mechs just drilling into this hole. Like, there's nothing is going to kill us. Like, actually nothing. Even if, like, bile titans were popping, it wouldn't matter. We'd probably just blow them up with our rockets. But definitely chargers. Look, there's a charger there. It's like, oh, a charger. Oh, he's just instantly dead. Uh, oh, dear. It didn't, it's, like, it's almost like it didn't exist. <laughs> now, you think of this yesterday or even earlier on in the day. <laughs> Today, before the mechs got unlocked. That charger would have been a serious problem because you don't have the railgun reliably to kill them. You know, and you've got all these other issues. But the mechs just absolutely a bit room. They are literally, guys, the most OP thing in the game right now. And, and it's fine. It's totally fine that they're OP like this because it's a PvE game. Let us have fun. Let us just annihilate waves of bugs. But there is a downside to this. And, you know, I've touched on this a little bit, and I guess we do really need to talk about this. When you run out of ammo, that's it. You can't do anything else. Now, I think if you run out of ammo, you could still use this, like, transport across the battlefield, right? Because it's still, you can still walk around. You can still crush the small bugs with it. But obviously, it's not very fast. So it will get swamped by the sort of medium bugs, the hunters and whatnot. They will catch you, and they will just start tearing you to shreds. And, of course, if you jump out the back of the mech, <laughs> and, you know, you're like, there's a bunch of, you know, bugs around you, you're just going to get killed. It's not great. But as you can see, yeah, it, it, it is painfully slow as I'm walking to the next objective. So what happens when you run out of ammo? Well, this is what happens. I didn't actually call down my support weapon, which I should have done before I got into my mech. I was just so excited to get in my mech. I just got in my mech. Anyway, I've had to jump out my mech. I've had to drop a new mech in. And now I'm, <laughs> I'm jumping in the mech now. But now it's go time. Because I've got that much firepower. There's no way these bugs are ever going to beat me. I don't care that a breach is happening either. I can just destroy them. It's like levels of firepower that no player has ever had in this game before. And now you've got access to it in the mech. It's just crazy. Now, I believe you get two mechs per stratagem. So because everybody's got access to the stratagem now, because it's a global stratagem that's in effect because of the galactic war. Uh, and obviously the fact that we liberated Tian Quan. Um, you can call two mechs down. But I can also call down another mech, I think. 
because I've got my own stratagem. So I'm actually able to get another mech after this one when the rest of my team are all out of their mechs. And basically the balance of the mech and what's causing you to jump out of it is the fact that you run out of ammunition and then you can't really doing it, do anything. So in this example here, you've got a big bug nest and I'm going down to take a look. I waste a rocket, which it feels terrible when you try and blow up these goddamn holes and, and they just don't blow up. That should have exploded. But this is what I should have been doing anyway. I should jump out my mech and I should have been throwing nades into these, not wasting my rockets on them because it's a bit overkill. You want the rockets to kill the chargers, you know, the bile titans, the hulks, anything that's like a super heavy enemy. You want to use the rockets on them, basically. Um, the heavy machine gun you've got, though, does, does a ton of damage. I mean, this is just a ton of damage. And you know what? It's highly accurate. Like, you see what I mean again? Two rockets on that miss. I've wasted three rockets in this one. I'm literally throwing the game. <laughs> I should be vote kicked for terrible gameplay. It's just so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> but yeah, that's the downside to them, right? You're running out of bullets, and yeah, it's not great. Now, if anyone's a fan of the Aliens film, <laughs> I get really strong Aliens vibes here, because when you look at the the heavy machine gun ammo on the right hand side of the crosshair there the way it goes down when you're firing like watch it when i fire the main gun look at it look at it going down it's so good it's like it's depleting and you can see it's going down kind of reminds me of that scene in aliens where they've got the, the sentry turrets in the hallway and the aliens just keep coming and they're like i think they get down to like the last two or three bullets don't they one of the guns before they turn back it's just ridiculous also the range is mental on these things like it's just incredible range this though is great i love just walking over the little bugs like they're nothing because they, they deserve to be crushed <laughs> Look at it, it's great. I'm so great they added that to the game. But I almost expected it, you know, because this is what these devs have been doing with, with, with the game, the devs from Arrowhead, Arrowhead, where they're just like, they put things in the game for the sake of being fun, so you just know you're going to get it. Anyway, these invisible bugs, they've just got no chance. Just firing rockets at them and absolutely destroying them. It's beautiful. <laughs> so it's bad news for me here. You can see I'm about to run out of all of my ammunition. But I've got 35 bullets left, but I just decided to jump out anyway. Because I know I can call in another exosuit. Now, the rest of the team can't. So I don't think they've got the stratagem equipped. I had it equipped, so you can see. I've still got cooldown available in 15 seconds for another exosuit. But watch the way the dropship comes in with this. It's just like, it's so cinematic. It feels like you're in a war and you've just had this like, you know, it's, it's almost like a heli drop kind of like supply package. It's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway, some bugs are trying to take me on. I don't know what they're doing. Obviously, I'm just going to kill them. So here we go. I'm about to call it in after I deal with this and help out... Uh, a lovely ally over there. Oh, and maybe kill this one as well. Yeah, so we're going to throw it down now. <laughs> they look so goofy, don't they? Oh, yeah. What was that stalker doing? All right, so here we go. Watch this. And actually, you'll see the cannon fire as this comes in as well. So watch on the front of the dropship as it comes down. It's just like the extraction dropship where it comes down and it fires. Watch. See the cannon? Look, it's firing at enemies. So you've got this little auto cannon. Nice little bit of added firepower. It's so good. And there's your new mech ready to go. It does feel kind of bad, though, just leaving, you know, a mech on the side. <laughs> and the, the urge to just go straight in with rockets is a powerful one uh, with these mechs. It is just, you want to just blow stuff up. And yeah, oh, look, there's a charger. It doesn't matter, though, because we're just going to kill it. So I fired one rocket into this one. I thought I'd do a bit of a test and then shoot at it a bit. It was already dead anyway. It was falling down the hill, but it didn't matter. <laughs> look at the firepower. Look at the fire. See, that was a waste, but I don't even care. Like, none of it even matters. It's like, who cares if it's a waste? We're blowing bugs up and it's sick. But the thing is, when you run out of ammo, like I said, guys, that's it. The mech's done. But yeah, this is another downside. And we did talk about this a little bit earlier on in the video, but it's just so slow. It it's just feels so slow when you're walking across terrain. I don't think it's actually much slower than the Helldivers running, but it just it feels slow. You know, it doesn't feel fast. But we do know there's other vehicles coming in the future. So we've got a Halo-style Warthog is coming to the game. Uh, and there's also an armored personnel carrier, which will come to the game at some point. So we'll all be able to jump in this massive truck and drive around. That's going to be ridiculous. But honestly, guys, these mechs are sick. Go and play the game right now. Go and get the mechs. Like I said, you'll get the stratagem if you just log into the game and play. You have to be level 25 or above, though, to get access to the stratagem permanently. So you can just use it all of the time. Um, but I'd expect this free stratagem thing to last for a while. I think they generally do. At least it will last for 24 hours. Um, so you'll definitely have a go to check it out. Um, and I can't wait to see different variants of these mechs either. You know, like imagine... Well, we already know that we've seen images of ones that seem to have two auto cannons. Like... It, oh my god it's just gonna be mental mental what about like a laser mech you know what i mean <laughs> i want to put some melters on my dreadnought <laughs> what about a melee weapon that's another thing just give us melee weapons but imagine like a massive melee like power fist or something on this mech and you just run up and smash mobs it would be sick it's so good anyway thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it get out there and play hell divers too it's just incredible so much fun i'll catch you guys on the next one see you soon